All right. And that's the greenhouse. I don't know if we found everything, though. I don't think we went into lab six or seven. We went to seven, not maybe six. We went over there. Oh, no, this was where... Okay. Did we find it all? Where is... Oh, did we do it already? Looks like we did it. Sort of. If it was just three. So much information here, too. Lost. Alright, back to the pod. Wherever the pod is, can't forget remember. Alright. They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be really complicated, and then I realized it really is just walking down and up the ladder. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Wumpkins. Except, of course, well, let me see. Is there a way to get that? Yes, there is. Okay, excellent. Okay. Come on. You two will need to stay down here. Actually, it might be better to add you up top. Uh, we'll keep James here. Only R can follow me, I guess. We'll see. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Okay. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Uh, yeah, you stay there. Yeah. Um, no, I want that spot. I want that spot over there. Move, 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 Shepard. Jeez, Louis, where are they all going? There we go. They just dragged him back. 
Nice try. He's like directly under me now. I need ammo. Okay, I don't have any up here. Looks like we got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Your corner man? Nice. Okay, 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 okay. Has okay. the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block it. Wait, where? Whoa, 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 wait, what's next door? Where's the... They were right here. They were all like... Heavy mech, don't let it get close. Oh, go. Wow. How did you freaking see me? No, wait. Cover. I don't know why it wasn't working. It though. Oh, what? All right, right underneath me? Dang. Where are the other little dudes? in the mech now eventually.
not doing more. Disruptor ammo work better? Like, holy crap. There we go. I thought that's gonna do anything. Shotgun it from here. Yeah. That works a little better. If this is actually a pretty perfect spot, it seems to be having trouble targeting me. you guys could rejoin us. Yeah, move, James. Bring it, we don't, and we used up, like, all the health stuff. Well, where'd the dang nab? Like, they all, they dropped ammo, but they just weren't giving it to me. Save. Apparently, I had to save very frequently. Clink, 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 clink. Were these beacons, or were they just part of like a larger hole? Like I don't know. And this guy, this guy can't really tell us. I was like, so we're not frozen, right? <laughs> yeah, remember, kids. Hey, He's not gonna Gosh. know us from friggin' sin. He, we just. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Or he'll just pop open. I mean, really freaked out. armor soon and you'll look really good in that. Be careful, he's confused. I'm confused. Not the place you remember last, huh? Remember, it's been fifty thousand years for us, but for him it's only been a few yeah. minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. Touching him was a, probably a bad idea the anyway. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Death 
to lay down as a warrior in the middle of a battle. Just you. You can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system. Enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never give up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari, human. I'm surrounded by primitive. <laughs> it's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Last time I brought uh, Edie, and uh, he was like mech or something. Like, you brought, oh, synthetics. You brought Asari, synthetic, human. Surrounded by primitives and enemies and stuff. Something like that. That was interesting. Interesting, Yavik. We're gonna be best palsies, and this time I'm not gonna screw you over, Yavik. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I don't know. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. A living Prothean... Oh, buddy, it's gonna be interesting. Somebody held you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. Yeah, I can't leave that hanging. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. Hmm. He understands, though. He comes from a military society. He's just he's waiting, though. New. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. They're like, I don't know. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? Nice. Evade. All life Evade. provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which? He is just walking up and reading me, brain! 
Making me experience unhappy things. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heated? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. <laughs> and nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Indeed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. So much I'm vengeance! Bioware is big on the vengeance! The blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Thank you, soldiers. Appreciate your help. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. This is important. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead, dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This was actually a really big turning this point is your answer. for Shepard, for my Shepard, was that this interaction with Javik specifically. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No, it contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Meh! Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I published in several journals that... Amusing. A sorry I finally mastered right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you. Witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Indeed. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid. A form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. It was powerful. Prone to violence. Indeed. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Indeed! He's my boy! He's my boy, he, uh, he's, he's good, he's good, yeah, he's great, he's good. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. 
They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted Yavik is actually centuries. pretty young, I think. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a the civilization Inusanen. before us. The Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. <sighs> it's kind of sad. Like, it, he... Javik's story is incredibly sad. And in many, like, he comes off as very hard, but, like, that's the thing he's saying. It's like they, they had so much knowledge and they could impart through touch and the beacons. But by the time he was born, like, so much, even with that, had been lost. You know, even with all their methods of record keeping, everything, so much was lost. And, and they were so fragmented. None of them could figure out what the communication was constantly being cut out. They were losing every battle they fought in. It's no surprise he doesn't know. He was born... It's not like he was born in, like, happy days when he could have been a scientist and then turned into a soldier. No, like, he was born with one specific purpose, and that was to be a soldier. And that's all he knows. He didn't need to focus on anything else. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Nah, I disagree, you buddy boy. The war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. See, and that that's the thing is he brings up, like, he recognizes, I think he, he, as they were dying, he recognized, and perhaps even the memory shards and stuff, they were showing what had been their weakness, you know? But... So he knows, and he knows what the weakness was, but he still gets on to us for trying to be, like, diversified and not all conforming to one doctrine. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? 
Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None. It's succeeded. a very primitive style, I sort no of. I idea Protheans were so... But it worked, right? Whoever's... Severe. It's basically Krogan. It was by necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it Just what we're trying to do. For a time, the Metacon War. We were turning the tide until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. We're trying to unite everybody, but we're trying to unite everybody... Back on Eden Prime, it with their like diversity there were other intact. Pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire. He was supposed to be the new Emperor. We would have commanded basically. the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, yes. indoctrinated agents, betrayed us. We have the same the problem! Woohoo! Just out of curiosity, <laughs> how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join But you knew this much, right? But when the Reapers attacked... But it was all statistical study. planning for him. Hope they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. Meh. But this is all, like, he knew about this study, but it's because he was expecting to have these ally or these resources in the, in the war to take back the systems, you know, to take, to, to win against the Reapers, basically. That's it. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. <laughs> the lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. <laughs> they used to eat flies. <laughs> Liara is not pleased. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Yay! We gonna be pals, Javik. So much has been lost. So much has been lost. Particle changed. rifle! And yet the Reapers are still here. Yeah, he hasn't had a break. For me, it was only yesterday. Our empire spanned the galaxy. Now we are only a myth. I wonder what this... I still have much to learn about this cycle. Yeah. I still have much to learn about <laughs> this cycle. I, I'm always very curious what this goopy stuff is. Um, but I'm going to call this here. I've been playing for quite a while. We've got a new friend, though. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Even before Liara gets upset, I want to change... Uh, see if I can change his armor. Going back to my room. I do need to lower. I think I need to lower my weapon's weight. I think I am going to keep the shotgun. I'm going to keep messing with it. I am enjoying the long distance infiltrator, though. The shotgun's handy, though, if they get really close. Burp. Yes! Oh, thank you. He looks much better in the black. Power recharge speed. Nice. Or power damage. No, power recharge speed! Power recharge! Yavik and Garrus! Gonna be fun! And Yavik and Liara, too. That's gonna be a heartbreaker. But, uh... Anyway. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, I'm not really sure how this one's gonna get split up, but... We'll see. Oh, I'm playing late into the night so I can get these out before I go back to work. But anyway.
thank you again. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you guys think of Yavik, too. I'd be curious to know what you guys think. For sure. Because he's an interesting character. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.